Welcome back. <laughs> Our next guest is a singer and songwriter, but is best known for his stare down <laughs> with Diddy on Fox's The Four. After millions of viewings, now he's following up with his viral fame with new music. Please welcome Detroit's own Elijah Connor Yay! to the circle. Yay! <laughs> Come on, Nick. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's some necklace, boy, I tell thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Right on in the Lion Leo season oh. coming up. Oh, how's the weather in Detroit? It's so cold in you the You know, it's, it's kind of uh, warm right now, but I'm a, so glad to, to be here with these beautiful ladies. I'm such a you. fan of yours. Thank and, you. My God, oh, Selena. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to break the ice a little bit. <laughs> okay. Has anybody ever told you? You look like uh, Odell Beckham. Hello, somebody. I thought Odell had walked in the building. You know what? I, I get that sometimes, but I just want to say every light skinned guy with a beard and blonde hair is not trying to look like Odell. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> there are some similarities. Well, you know, I think it's, you know, we. I guess we kind of got the same drip a little bit too, but I mean. Yeah. <laughs> but Elijah's here today, so yeah. Yeah, Elijah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're real famous for that. You know. That stare down with Diddy. You know, it just happened out the blue. You know, <laughs> it wasn't planned. I was just going on the show, singing my tail off, thought I did. Mm -hmm. And you know, me being from Detroit, you know, I was just shocked. I'm like, yo, you know, cause some in the water in Detroit, they say everybody can, you know, kind of sing, you know, so. Uh, I thought I sung my tail off, and he well, was like, I didn't like it at all. See, so, some, oh, people, wow. some people took your stare down as a little cocky. See, I thought that you were real humble after afterwards, but you know, but do you think you were being a little bit cocky or what? You know what? My, that was not my intention at all. I had literally like just locked in just because I was in shock myself. You like for real? Like, you for know, real? I was really I in shock really myself, good, but way. you know, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. But I think um, had I left the stage, um, you know, I thanked him for the mm -hmm. opportunity for yeah. the platform because to sing in front of 20 million plus people, you know, that mm -hmm. was a a platform that I was blessed with. Mm. So, um, you know, I say it's gonna pop either way, and evidently it did because I'm sitting here with you and Selena, and I know that's I'm right. I'm on Sister Circle, y'all. Hello, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what God has for you is for you. Absolutely. Amen. Okay, Absolutely. forget Amen. about what anybody had said. That's right. Um, it, but what I do, well, what the people said in the streets have been talking. Okay. You are related to Prince. Oh, my God. Mm. I am. Yes, ma'am. He yes, is one of my favorite of all time. So oh. if you have any piece of anything in him, you are the bomb. That you can't say nothing to me already. You know, I know I'll never. You know, he's the goat. You he know, really is the goat. He's the goat. So um, I know that I'll never, you know, be as great as him. But my thing is just to continue the legacy. Yes. I'm the last musician left in the family. Yeah. So it's just to continue the legacy in my own right is be as great as I can be mm -hmm. from the gift that God gave me. Yes, God. Yes. Mm -hmm. But even before the four, you know, yes. you were already pursuing your music yes. career. Yes, yes, but yes. Did you, did you imagine that your career would catapult to these levels that, that you're going to now? Well, the crazy thing, I wasn't going to go on the show because I felt like if I didn't win, I had friends telling me, don't go on the show because if you don't win, it's going to take away your credibility as an artist. Because I was already getting like radio play in Detroit and, and the Midwest, mm -hmm. so I already kind of had a name. And you know what I said? You know what? I'm just going to step out on faith. And it is what it is. And uh, I didn't win, but ultimately I won. Yeah. You know, so, um, and I just want to encourage anybody, you know, to just go after your dreams. And I literally took that no and turned into a new opportunity. I know, I know that's, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> no means really, it's own yes. in battle. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Um, but your career, like you said, you've already been, you know, out here recording and doing your thing as an independent yes, artist. Yes. And, and uh, apparently it hasn't stopped. You have a new single out called Reputation. Yes. Yes. So, um, first of all, um, are you the writer? And second of all, what is, um, um, the inspiration behind this record. I love the title, Reputation. Thank you. Thank I think you. We've heard of um, I'm title. not the writer. I actually was blessed to work with a writer named Makiba Riddick. Yeah, Makiba! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a bad, okay. that's she a bad real girl. Bad. Yes. And I'm so humbled by the experience because, you know, Makiba's up there. She, yes. She's yes. Grammy Award winning. Ooh, yes, she's she written is. with Makeba's Beyonce dope. and mm -hmm. Jay Z and Rihanna. Yes. Everybody. So I said to work with little old me. She said, you know, I see potential in you yeah. and I want to work with you before they grab you up. So um, I'm so blessed to work with Makiba Riddick and the producer Kid Class um, on this record. It's basically just talking about my life since winning the show mm -hmm. and going viral. Um, one of the lyrics is, um, uh, had to stare down with P. Diddy. <laughs> oh, what you ain't feeling me, you gotta be kidding. Mm. <laughs> okay. It's, you know, we, we just went crazy on the record, man, and it's something different for me, but 
Um, it's basically like my story since going viral and since the whole the whole piece of the floor. Yes. yes. Well, you know, you're doing your thing, Thank but you're you. also giving back to the community. I am. You have your nonprofit organization yes. Yes. and you're giving back to the kids. So tell us about your uh, back to school program that you have. Well, I just started a back to school program. Um, I usually work with um, uh, the local radio station WJLB in Detroit with Coats for Kids every year. Mm -hmm. And it's basically just. Um, making sure that they have coats. Uh, we, we, you know, we get cold in Detroit. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. This winter, and we, Chicago. Hit, I'm we hit negative zero. Yeah, it's ignorant. You know, it gets cold. So um, this year, I'm going to have a back-to-school drive, basically giving back to the community with the less fortunate kids and the less fortunate parents. Make sure they have their backpacks, school clothes, school supplies at no cost. So mm -hmm. my new foundation is going to go ahead and kick that, kick that off. And we're going to go nice. from Detroit to Chicago to uh, Atlanta now, because I'll be mm -hmm. an Atlanta resident in two weeks. Well, yay! Well, welcome to Atlanta! Yeah, I'm moving to Atlanta. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> well, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you for coming and visiting us at the Circle. Yes. You're always welcome, by thank the way. Thank you so much. Okay, you know what, guys? Keep up with his music career and see what he's doing in the community. Yes, Follow please. him on social media at Elijah Connor.